We all know there's lots of inconsistencies between Java and Bedrock, and most of these have been talked about with plenty of different opinions. Parity is a hugely complex issue, but I want to talk about something that's not covered in other videos and is important to me, and I'll get to why near the end. Sound, in particular jukeboxes and music discs. But before you click away, this is different to what's been covered before, and here's why. For me, it started with Bedrock being ahead. There was a jukebox and the ability to use redstone with it. Great. Now this didn't work in Java, and to get the same result, mods were introduced. This eventually filtered into the main game, and now that's cool. This makes sense and is great to see this progress, but although Java and Bedrock can have the same music discs, Bedrock is limited by the number in the base game. So we can't go beyond that, we're essentially overwriting what we have. Now, why is this important? Vanilla Plus or Quality of Life mods. We see these a lot in series such as Hermitcraft. The idea being to make the game slightly better, not modded, and to keep players immersed in the game experience, not coding outside. Now, some of you are thinking, obviously, this is what note blocks are for. If you want to commit to staying in the core game experience, note blocks are the purest way to do it and give you huge flexibility in sounds. And I absolutely agree with you for sound, but two things. One, I want to communicate voice and spoken language, and two, there's a precedent set. So let's immerse ourselves. You as a player exist in your Minecraft world. And this player has the technology for both music discs and jukeboxes to exist. In fact, you have the skills as a player to craft music playing technology, the jukebox and note blocks. Doesn't that seem weird just for that purpose that our player's curiosity wouldn't go further? Now for map makers, you can add more custom sounds and play them in bedrock using the slash play sound command. But this both needs a command block and a target player. This is great for map makers, but really falls short of the objective of staying immersed in the core game, this vanilla plus. And as of today, there isn't extensibility to create mods and add-ons in Bedrock to achieve this, like in Java. So why would you need this? There's lots of reasons, such as accessibility, to be able to communicate broader concepts, or just to add broader layers into the game. All while staying immersed in the experience with our friends. Now to be clear, I'm not saying this needs to be in the core game, but I am saying the option to create this in-game experience extensibility for sound really should. If it was, I'd be the first in line to build something for Bedrock. So what's my special reason? Well, I'm converting Tango Tech's Decked Out 2 to Bedrock in survival. And I really don't want to use command blocks. There are way more sounds for this game than music discs. And that feels like a really limiting factor. Anyway, that's my thoughts. It's good to get it out into the universe. Thanks for listening. Bye.